There are times when your Android smartphone does not have an internet access even after connecting it to a Wi-Fi network. This is common issue that can occur on any Android device. So in this video, I'll show you some fixes to try if your Android is connected to Wi-Fi but the internet is not working. Guys, I am using a Samsung Galaxy phone. On other Android phones, the fixes would be the same, but the interface may vary a little bit depending on your phone's manufacturer. But any Android user can watch this video to learn about all the possible fixes. Fix 1. Restart your phone and router. First of all, you should disconnect your phone from the Wi-Fi network. Then restart the phone. Then power off your router. Wait 2-3 to three minutes and turn it back on. After restarting, connect your phone to the Wi-Fi network. If it was caused by minor glitches on your phone or router, then it should fix the issue. Fix 2. Set correct date and time. Before going further, you should check if your Android phone has the correct date and time set. Because an incorrect date or time can also prevent Android apps from connecting to the internet. To fix the issue, you should always configure your phone to use the network provided date and time. To do so, open the settings app and head over to the general management. Tap on date and time and enable the toggle for automatic date and time. Fix 3. Use Google's DNS server. Problems with the DNS on your Android can also cause the internet to stop working. To deal with this, you should set Google's public DNS server as the default DNS on your Android. To do so, open the settings app and go to the connection page. Tap on more connection settings. Choose private DNS. Here, select private DNS provider hostname and type dns.google in the text field. Now tap on save. Fix 4. Change Wi-Fi settings. In this step, we'll change some Wi-Fi settings on your phone to fix the no internet issue. Open the settings app and go to the connections page. Tap on Wi-Fi. Tap the gear icon next to the connected Wi-Fi network. First, I'd suggest you forget the Wi-Fi network and reconnect to it. This might fix any misconfigured settings for the Wi-Fi network. Next, tap on view more. Here, change the IP settings from DHCP to static. Then assign a static IP address to the device. It will prevent IP address conflict with other devices on the same network. In the gateway field, enter your router's IP address. Then enter Google DNS in the DNS1 and DNS2 field. Make sure the proxy setting is disabled. Then set your Wi-Fi network as an unmetered connection. Hit save. Now see if the internet works. Fix 5. Reset network settings. If you still can't connect to the internet, you can reset the network settings on your Android. To do so, open the settings app and go to general management. Tap on reset and select reset network settings. Now you need to tap on the reset settings button to confirm. Please remember, this step will remove all your saved Wi-Fi networks and paired Bluetooth devices. After resetting the network settings, connect to your Wi-Fi network again and see if you can access the internet. Fix 6. Disable Mac filtering on your router. If you have applied all the fixes on your phone but are still not able to access the internet, then it might be the issue with your router. The Wi-Fi router might be blocking your Android device from connecting to the internet. You need to check if your parents or someone else has added your Android device to the router's block list through Mac filtering. For that, log in to the router's web interface. Look for the option called Wireless Mac Filtering. If you see your Android phone on the block list, delete it to restore internet access. You can also disable Mac filtering if you don't need it. To prevent this in the future, I'd suggest you enable Mac address randomization settings on your Android phone. You can enable it in developer's option. When you turn it on, your Android's MAC address will change every time you connect to a Wi-Fi network. When your phone uses a random MAC address, the router won't be able to identify your phone and hence won't be able to use MAC filtering to block the device. 
So guys, that's all the troubleshooting steps we can come up with. You can apply all the fixes one by one to restore internet access on your Android phone. Let us know which one works for you in the comments below.